Hello, my dear friends. Welcome to a new podcast of You Are the Beloved. And this is your pastor, Yeti. I hope all is well with all of you and let enjoy the encouragement of to know that you are the beloved. You are chosen, you are loved, and you are blessed. The truly good news is that God is always available. For some people, might be strange that I say it like this, but God is not hiding himself. It's the circumstances of our life that gives us the feeling that God is not present. If God was not present, creation was gone. When we lose a family member or friend through death, when we become jobless, when we fail an examination, when we live through a separation or a divorce, when a war breaks out, when an earthquake destroys our home or touches us, the question, why, spontaneously emerges, why me? Why now? Why here? It is so arduous to live without an answer to this why that we are easily seduced into connecting the events over which we have no control with our conscious or unconscious evaluation. When we have cursed ourselves or allowed others to curse us, it is very tempting to explain all the brokenness we experience as an expression or confirmation of this curse. Before we fully realize, we have already said to ourselves, you see, I always thought I was no good. Now I know for sure. The facts of life prove it. The great spiritual call of the beloved children of God is to pull their brokenness away from the shadow of the curse and put it under the light of the blessing. The power of the darkness around us is strong and our world finds it easier to manipulate self-rejection people than self-accepting people. But when we keep listening attentively to the voice calling us the beloved, it becomes possible to live our brokenness, not as a confirmation of our fear that we are worthless, but as an opportunity to purify and deepen the blessing that rests upon us. Physical, mental, or emotional pain lived under the blessing is experienced in ways radically different from physical, mental, or emotional pain lived under the curse. The truly good news is that God is not a distant God. A God to be feared or avoided. A God of reverence, but a God who is moved by our pains and participates in the fullness of the human struggle. God is a compassionate God. And this means, first of all, that God is a God who has chosen to be God with us. As soon as we call God, God with us, we enter into a new relationship of intimacy with him. By calling God Emmanuel, we recognize God's commitment to live in solidarity with us, to share our joys and pains, to defend and protect us, 
and to suffer all of life with us. The God with us is a close God, a God whom we call our refuge, our stronghold, our wisdom, and even more intimately, our helper, our shepherd, our love. We will never really know God as a compassionate God if we do not understand with our heart and mind that the Word became flesh and lived among us. John chapter 1 verse 14 God is compassionate and He has compassion over you. My friends, come near to God. Search Him. Because He is not far. Blessings on this day. And to remind yourself again that you are blessed, and that you are chosen, and that you are loved. That's a statement that's given by Jesus, who gave it all on the cross and resurrected to give us that life. God bless. This is your Pastor Eric.